And speaking of Kane Tejada, here we go. Kane Tejada, the midseason finale assessment of where we stand with Ghost today. Ashley, I'm going to start with you. What do we think about Kane Tejada? Is Kane Tejada stepping up in this midseason of Ghost? Is he stepping back? Like, what are your thoughts on him? Kane won't be stepping up until he starts something of his own. He didn't replace Monet for Noma. Like, he wanted another mama, I guess, because Monet mm. wasn't cutting it. Until he stands up on his own as an alpha, um, I don't have it to give to Kane. And, you know, and this is outside of my disdain for his character because I'm kind of over that part of it. Um, but, sir, if you really want to be a contender out here in these streets, build something first. Build your own thing. Build your own organization is what I feel like. Um, his whole, oh, I'm going to fight for your honor, Noma. Don't worry about it. I got you because the Tejada name means something. Baby, don't nobody know the Tejadas for real. Like, quit playing, Kane. You riding <laughs> on some legacy stuff from your daddy and your mama's younger days. Um, honestly, for Kane, I would I would like him to, to flip the switch on Noma. And take some mm. of her power. That would be a player move for him. That would be something I'd be excited to see Kane do. Um, but yeah, no, nah, he he ain't giving for me, Jay. Is he's another person's lap dog at this point? Well, maybe that's the maybe that's the idea. You know what I'm saying? Let me get in place. Let me work my way in. Do what I gotta do. Maybe take over. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe that's not. You maybe know, maybe it is a replacement. Ahead, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I couldn't. I'm not gonna say that the, the Tahada name ain't out there because when he did go to that Fight Club, they was like, "Oh, we know the Tahadas. Oh, we know Kane. I know the rules. Let me in." Even your boy Dougie Fresh was giving him props. You know what I'm saying? So the, the, the Tahada name is out there. You know he he riding on but it. Jay. He gonna ride on it. He gonna but ride Jay. on it. Yeah. But Jay. Yes. Kane ain't thinking ahead. Kane is not thinking ahead. He's liking that old cougar coot nanny. He's liking he living up in it. He's comfy. He's like, I got a new position. I'm the right hand man. He is content <laughs> to stay in that position. And even mm. as a Tejada, he said, go on and get in this ring, little, 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 little guy, little buddy. And let me show yeah. you what it is. But yeah, you know, we'll see what happens. I hope he has an okay. ulterior motive and I hope he's thinking ahead. I just don't think so. Okay, okay. EJ, your thoughts on Kane Tejada? You know, is he the man? Is he coming through? I mean, what do you think? You know, every time I give Kane props, uh, something always happens and he always regresses. So I'm going to like lean away from giving him like super props at this point. But I will say this, there is a world where at one point I thought that Kane would be the last man standing as far as the Tejadas were concerned because I thought everybody underestimated him so much that there was going to be a time when he would figure it out, right? But I honestly, if you just want my honest opinion at, at mid-season five, I'm not there yet. Like, I don't see it. I don't see him being able. I don't think that he's thinking about flipping it. I think that that was Tariq's idea, right? But I don't think that that's Kane's idea. I don't think that that is what Kane is thinking. I think Kane is content with being the second. I think that's what he wants. He wants to be second in command you know what i'm saying like he went from monet you know his mom and now he's at noma and i think until is like ash said until he actually make a move outside of these women he's always going to be just you know this little boy you know that he's the muscle at the end of the day yes he's the muscle and i'm not saying that he ain't got no street cred because i feel like they do have some street cred i do feel like in a certain area that their name is you know has some cred to it but i don't think that kane is uh for lack of a better word a boss like i don't see him as a boss and i don't see him leading anyone anytime soon that could change though i'm not I'm not giving up on Kane per se, because if any Tejada has to win, I ain't gonna lie. I don't like Kane, but if any one of them had to win, I'd probably go with him. At least he's the one that most likely really wanted. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's just straight up. I, out of everybody, I am. yeah, I agree with you. Out of everybody, he really wants it. He really wants to stay in it. Uh, if he has to play the position of number two for now, he'll do that. That's fine. So, so at the end of the day, family, I just want to know: is he standing on business? Or is he not even close? Not even Emily, close. Chime, chime in below. You say not even close. Mm -hmm. uh, not even close. Okay. <laughs> okay. To. I think no, I think no. this episode for what he needed to do to make sure that your boy um, Zion didn't approach her again, approach Noma. I think he stood on business with that. I think him fighting in the ring uh, and showing and proving like, yo, 
I'm gonna stand my ground. My name is in the, my name is sticking these streets, and to how does I think he stood on business? For a family chime in below, let me know your thoughts. Did Kane stand on business in this episode or not? Not even close. Let's move on to the next person, family. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, all right. Yeah, your man's ready to pop off on Tariqa any given moment. <laughs> any 